بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أفضل المرسلين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبع هداه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد My dear brothers and my dear sisters When you love someone you always give advice to that one we might all of us inshallah رب العالمين meet in the Jannah in the Firdaus Al-A'la in Jannah Al-Na'im with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so I advise myself first from this place you never know if we're gonna see each other or not Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala knows best my advice for myself and for you all my dear brothers and sisters four advices the scholars said احذر من غارات أربع be aware of four invasions the invasion normally when one country invade another country or disease invade the city or something called invasion and these four invasions will invade all of us all of us as a human being with no exceptions number one invasion غاره in Arabic language غارت ملك الموت على روحك the invasion of the angel of death over your soul will take your soul as Allah Azza wa Jal said بغتتن وهم لا يشعرون suddenly just like this without even knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nisa أينما تكون يدركم الموت ولو كنتم في بروج مشيدة in anywhere the angel of death that this will come to you even if you are hiding inside a castle and that castle is sealed castle the angel of death come to all of us another ayah la baraza ilaykum al mawt that will come from a place you cannot even imagine so the first invasion the invasion of the angel of death over your body your soul take it and you never know when that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem Ayah The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam almost every Friday repeated to the people Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu and this call for all the believers all the believers اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون اتقوا الله fear Allah the true fear of Allah سبحانه وتعالى the true fear of Allah اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا do not die in any state in any situation other than the Muslim and when the angel of death come and you do not know what situation what way the angel of death come so you have to be ready to die as a Muslim and that is the first invasion the second invasion the invasion the gharat al waratha ala malik the angel the, the inheritance the inheritance they will come after they bury you they come and distribute your wealth distribute your money your property whatever you collect whatever you collect is for your inheritance your son your daughter your wife your father your mother the most beloved people they bury you they put the sand in the top of you and they go and they read your wasiyah they read your will and then they distribute everything you left behind so you left it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you about it and you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you about it and your inheritance will enjoy it you left everything behind Allah azza wa said you left everything behind your back and where are we in the grave with what with the for man three piece of materials for a man three piece of white material like just like this 
and for a woman five pieces also with white material just like this and millions we leave behind dollars money dinars dirhams homes cars we leave everything behind think about it my dear brothers and sisters you left behind and Allah will ask you about it and your inheritance will enjoy it. Your inheritance will enjoy it and take it and distribute it and they may be, they fight over your inheritance. Who are there? The most beloved people. The most beloved people. The one, they bury you in the grave and they go and distribute everything. This is the second invasion. The third invasion the invasions of the worms, a dude, the worms over your body. Subhanallah, think about it. When you commit a sin, when we commit a sin, we commit a sin normally, we looking at the haram or speaking in the haram. The scientist, the scientist, they said when the person in the grave, the worms will be created from the eyes first and then the tongue second the eyes and the tongue that's why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he told muad ibn jabal radiyallahu ta'ala muaz say what put the people in the fire in their fire what they committed by their tongue and he hold his tongue the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we have to watch the tongue and watch the eyes and also watch the ears what we are listening what we are saying what we are looking at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold us accountable with what we committed by the hands. Even the skin in the day of judgment will speak about us. Ya Allah, say small sin or large sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold us accountable. One angel here and one angel here writing everything behind. ما يلفظ الله عز وجل says in Surah Qaf ما يلفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد any statement you say anything you say it is رقيب and عتيد writing down we have to watch my dear brother and sister the third invasion and the fourth invasion very important invasion أصحاب المظالم الحقوق عليك يوم القيامة the people they have right over you in the day of judgment over you, your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, your father, your mother, the people, the right of the people and the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The right of Allah with istighfar, Ya Rabbi forgive me, it's forgiven, insha'Allah Rabbil Alameen. But the right of the people, you have to give it back to the people, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do you know who is the bankrupt? You know the hadith, of course. Yes, the bankrupt, the one he have no dirham, no dinar, no money, no dollars, nothing. The Prophet Sallallahu no. The one he insults so and so, or backbites so and so, or slander so and so, or kills so and so. Those people in the day of judgment, they come and they take it from our hasanat. Even our hasanat or good deeds is equal to the mountains of Uhud or mountains of Tahama, great mountains of good deeds. Those good deeds, those people you have, you was unjust, unjust, unfair with them in the dunya, in the day of judgment, they take hasanat, good deeds. We have to be aware of this invasion, my dear brothers and sisters. Now is the time. You're still living. You're still alive. Give them their right now. Ask for forgiveness now, before that day. لَيَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَطَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ No sun, no wealth will benefit you, except when you come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with good deeds and good a'mal. My dear brothers and sisters, four invasions, be aware of them. Be aware of this four invasion. Number one again, the angel of death. Number two, the inheritance. Number three, the worms. Number four, the rights of the people. Give it now, before you die. You never know. I'm in the hospital now. Maybe we'll never meet again, my dear brothers and sisters. Allah knows best. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. 
all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from these troubles. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. I leave you now. Fi amanillah. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.